All right. Well, in this one, I want to show you guys how to uh, build brushes um, with images and just with uh, drawings and stuff that you can make uh, just in Photoshop yourself. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is choose um, just a basic round brush that uh, you know comes with Photoshop, obviously. And then I'll just do it on the background layer. That's good. Unless you want to sort of build it up and do a whole bunch at a time. And just to show it how you do it, I'm just going to draw some dots. So, yeah, that'll be good. So we have our dots, and you just select around the dots. Now, you don't have to be precise there, but um, you go to Edit, go to Define Brush Preset. You don't really have to name it at this point. You could just select all and delete that. Um, you don't have to, but uh, you can just right click, go all the way down to the bottom of your brushes, and that's where your new brush is saved. So if you can just spray it right from there. You see, they're all sort of aligned symmetrically. So if it went straight across, you'd see. It's very symmetrical. This is not a lot of, actually, nothing going on there. It's just the straight you know, one from the other, which does work sometimes for specific projects, but. We're going to change that a bit. So I'm going to go to the brushes option you know, over here. You can find it through Windows as well, right there. Um, you have all these different options. So I'm going to turn on a uh, shape dynamic. And this one's a size jitter for pen pressure. So the lighter I press down, the smaller it'll be. The harder I press down, the bigger it'll be. So that, that definitely helps make a brush seem more you know, brushy. Then I usually just turn up the angle a bit, so you get that randomness. You can turn it way up and get, you know, whatever angles you want going on. Uh, you can change the angle based on your pen tilt or uh, other things like that, but I just leave it off because we don't really need it for a spray brush. Um, then I'm going to turn on other dynamics. This one's an opacity jitter, so whether it's more opaque or more transparent. And this will be on pen pressure, so again, the lighter I push, the you know, less it'll be. The harder I push, the uh, more opaque it'll be. So let's try that. So it's definitely looking like a brush you can play with. And you can do other things like dual brushes, mess with that. It'll change different attributes. Kind of mixes the, the brushes in, in unique ways, so you can get some really interesting you know, textures going on. So let's say I just choose that one. Well, if you right click, you go down to the bottom again, it's not saved, your other brush. So what you want to do is go up here to this triangle, just go new brush preset. And this time you can name it if you want to, but I display it so I don't really need names. I'm just going to hit OK. And there, it's right in the bottom. So then you just right click and delete this one. Then we have a new brush that we made, we drew, and we mixed with other brushes that we've made. You know, that, that'll help uh, your painting. And, and but What I want to show you is how to actually make it with a photo. So uh, what I've done here is I've used some watercolor. I'm just copying and pasting. I've used watercolor. Uh, to paint on some watercolor paper, and I just scanned it. And this is what we're looking at here. I'm just reducing the size a bit. It's a giant, giant file. Yeah, so you can start to see that these are a lot of the brushes yeah, that I put together. And you can see they're similar to that one that we originally drew. Um, so we're just going to select one and then uh, try to figure out how to turn into a brush that we can paint with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just choose something like uh, this guy here. Now just hit copy, hide this, paste. And then we to go to image, adjustments, desaturate, takes all the color out. Image, adjustments, then levels. This is where you can adjust your whites and your darks. Turn the darks up 
the white's down. So you see how it gets rid of the edge there? That's what you want. You want it to be the edge to be pure white. Just so this is because where it's dark is where you're going to be, you know, your color and stuff's going to be coming from. So we kind of want to specify these things. And so what I'm doing is just playing with what darkness is there because it will definitely translate into how our brush functions. Kind of want a dark area, so I think that'll work. Let's press OK. Then you go to go in with the burn and dodge tool if you really want to be precise and make it a little more um, you know, just darker over here, maybe even brighter on this side. All right. So then what we want to do is the same thing. Just select around it. And go to edit. Define brush preset, and it might look skewed if it's if it's like a really long brush in here, but it just makes it square, so it's it still looks this the uh, the way that you selected it, but uh, yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. So just hit OK, and when you right click down at the bottom, you should have a new brush. It's the same thing, very repetitious. So we're going to want to open this again, and I'm going to reduce the spacing. You can change the angle of it as well with this. So if I want to turn it all the way around, you can. We're not really getting all that texture that we built in. So I'm going to try to get that. I'm going to turn on shape dynamics, turn down angle, and the minimum diameter all the way down. Uh, other dynamics for the so we get that nice uh, gradient of opacity. Change the angle a little bit. I'm going to turn it all the way around. Okay, so if we want to get some, if you look at that, it's still just, you know, it's not a lot there. There's a little bit of texture on the bottom, a little bit more on the side, so you can actually just hit texture. And it'll add texture to it if you want. You can uh, the depth of that texture. I'm gonna go for a canvas material maybe. This is like a rocky. There's some variation in there that's kind of cool. These have like a polka dot thing going on. Well, maybe I'll sleep texture off. That seems to be hectic. I'll turn on dual brush though, so I can get those nice edge things going on here. I'll try to find one that works, that is something close to what I like. This is a cool one. Look at that. This looks like actually playing with ink. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's keep that brush. I'm just gonna delete everything. So then you can see, and you got some cool effects happening with that. You can see it doesn't really, you can't really see it from your end, but when I uh, tilt my pen, it really doesn't change the angle. So I'm going to fix that in shape under angle, go to pen tilt. That way when I tilt my pen, you can actually see it shift. Then you can sort of hone in on it, fix uh, you know the angle that you hold your pen naturally. to cater to how you're going to be working with it. That way, it'll actually follow your, your gestures. You feel a lot more like a, a brush. And then you can obviously select textures and just start having fun with her. So, before you get ahead of yourself, we still want to save this brush because at the bottom, if you look, it's still the old one that we originally put in. You have to click this, as we were before, click new brush preset. Name it if you want to. Saved at the bottom. I always delete that one. So I've got I've got lots of brushes that I've made. Some work yeah, very differently than others, obviously. But you can uh, really just get a large array. Um, 
these ones aren't my better ones. I like this one. Uh, lower resolution. Because this, this has a texture on it of... Uh, yeah, normally it's... You, you, you can see how much texture you get right from the brush then. So when you're painting, it just starts to yes, add so much to your painting that if you went in and tried to make all these little marks, it would just, yeah, that would be brutal. So hopefully that's a good introduction for you. Start making some brushes and uh, yeah, have fun with it. All right, see you later. Take care.